Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Proto Tech Tip. And today I wanted to talk to you about notching and tabbing parts for alignment inside SolidWorks. We help keep your projects moving by manufacturing your custom sheet metal and CNC machine parts in two to three days with no minimum order ever. Our goal is to make things as easy as possible too. You can use our free design software called Protocase Designer to make custom enclosures, brackets, or panels, or you can start from a CAD template that you can create in our CAD template generator. But for many of you, especially if you're well-versed in mechanical design, you often create your part designs from scratch inside SolidWorks. We've covered lots of design tips in our Proto Tech Tips. Check out the link to that playlist in the description below. Now today, I want to talk notching and tabbing parts for alignment for your design inside SolidWorks. Now, due to our sheet metal manufacturing constraints, we are not always able to create your designs out of one single piece of sheet metal. Often, they need to be taken apart and perhaps even welded or fastened together. Now, this is where this neat little trick of notching and tabbing really comes into play. Let me show you what I mean. This is a technique used to join multiple parts together so that they only fit together the correct way. This is an example. Let's say these two parts are getting seam welded together. Given the way that they're currently designed, there is no great way to attach these without using hand-eye coordination to clamp them flush. This may result in parts being welded out of tolerance. Now to ensure that this doesn't happen, we can use this notch and tab technique. Let's go ahead and add some tabs into our parent part. You want to design these tabs so that they are about half the material thickness away from the outside face of the child part. You don't want to add too many tabs, however, just a couple will be fine given the length of the seam. Now let's go to the child part and add some notches. You want to make sure to constrain these notches to the tab directly so that if any design changes are made to the parent part, the child part will automatically update. The clearance that you want to put on these notches will mostly depend on how many bends are in the part, but for this example we will use .005 inches of clearance on all sides. So once these notches are cut into the part, let's get out of edit mode and take a look at what we created. You can see now that these parts can only fit together one way and the notches and tabs will have great support for aligning and clamping parts together before beginning to weld. Another thing to mention is that if you have more than two parts fitting together, it's a great idea to stagger your notch and tabs so that there's no risk of putting parts on backwards. This will allow the design to only fit together one way. Now, at the end of the day, we are here to make the parts that you need so that you can continue your prototyping and product development. By taking note of this information when you are designing, our engineering and design services team will need to spend less time making adjustments to then be reviewed by you before we can manufacture them. The faster that we can get your parts into production, the faster they'll be in your hands. Now remember, our team is always here to help. If you have any questions or want to discuss your design, just contact our Protocase account managers. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. We'll see you back here again next week.